Um, today we are here because we we would like to um, echo the uh, call from certain judges and from the Bar Council regarding the judicial independence and the uh, problems that the judiciary continues to face. As we all know, a few years ago we were, um, I guess we were heavily involved in the um, Vicky Lingam issue, which is again about the judiciary and about um, how how the um, certain parties and certain judges appear to be working in tandem with uh, to um, fix the appointment of judges and ultimately of course to fix outcome of um, cases. The entire purpose of a judiciary of going to court is to seek justice, to seek equality, to redress things that are not right. But if the last bastion of hope in civilized society cannot be relied upon, then there is very little hope. So I think um, when, uh, I don't know the names, but when the particular judge in his judgment called for judicial independence, I think that is he's speaking on behalf of everybody. And when the Bar Council president came out to demand that judges be independent, I think they also speak for everybody. And today we are here to echo them and we're here to provide information and evidence regarding the continuing malpractices within the uh, judiciary, the continuing lack of independence and the continuing fixing of cases to the highest bidder. Because like it or not, today justice in Malaysia can be bought and sold. I've done so many, I've been up to the fire, I've done so many. I've fought cases right at the federal court, uh, a few, a few, uh, and then they fell, uh, they still, this one or other, uh, can say a consent order, uh, judge, after he lost at the federal court, uh, standing ground, uh, come down and tell the, 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 the make an order uh, to say that the consent order is now, and what the judge has no right to make this order under the second one they want. We file the contempt against him, but they want to touch the thing, because we bother to fight the case. Go challenge the federal court, uh, you show them an icon. You cannot play, uh, even the, the judge make a mistake uh, in giving the content order under high court. Uh. You cannot go and tell the high court now, uh, hey, the judge is uh, wrong. So this is a bit of written protection already. I'm going to prove everyone. $100 million. Big case, 15 years to Chiang Wale. Turn out on my own. They go up to Cyrus Dark. They get Cyrus Dark. Cyrus Dark is a very rabbi. But he still represents uh, uh, Ravi, isn't it? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Come you know very well. Uh, your good friend. Uh, uh, so you can ask to help you. Uh. Don't even there, my good friend. Uh, my old dealer, broker. Oh. That's that mother Okay, so anyway, the, um, the, the point of uh, <coughs> this entire exercise is that we would like, as I said, mentioned earlier, we would like the, um, the government to take note, the judiciary to take note, and most importantly, I want, we would like the people to, who, um, to, be the judge, uh -huh. to be, who are affected 
were victimized by all this wheeling and dealing within the judiciary to to uh, to know that you are not alone you can come forward we are willing to stand together with you and we hope that action be taken not just against this particular judges mentioned here because when I when they asked when uh, I think one of the reporters asked me about the Vicky Lingam case I, what I expected it to, to happen I told I told them I thought the Vicky Lingam Vicky Lingam is but just a flag pole on top of the tip of the iceberg so this we are showing a little bit more of the iceberg but there's still plenty of icebergs left and we hope the authorities and the people and of course the Bar Council and the press get involved and once and for all please let's return justice back to the judiciary and make sure that the judges because there are still a lot of responsible good judges sitting in the uh, courts and we do not want their, their profession to be tarnished forever so this we would like to echo the Bar Council's um, call to for the government to clean up the judiciary I think now is as good as any time to do it.